Hey guys, Dean Gearhart here coming at you with a couple weeks worth of mail and uh, this is all eBay wins. Uh, <clears throat> it has been a couple weeks. I've been working on average about 65 hours a week at the post office. This is our busy time. I've been working 6 o'clock in the morning till in the 6 o'clock at night, so... Uh, which this will be should be the last week for that uh, It's good money, but man is it tiring, but uh, anyways let's Start out with these 1947 bond bread And that is Ken Keltner And these are blank backs I snag these for a song and a dance. Uh, next we got Joe Gordon. Yankees. Same thing. These are all blank backs. Uh, John Sane. Look at that glove. There's that uh, the buckle back. Nice. I just now noticed that that's pretty cool. So, that, is that all there was? Just three of them. Okay. Next up, we got that 1948 Leaf, Paul Dizzy Trout. Nice clean card for the condition. VG. And Hank Edwards. Basically, picking off the low hanging fruit on this set. And now uh, we'll just see how far we get with it. So, next up we have a 1948 Bowman football. And that is Jack Ferranti, the Eagles. Uh, then we got 1954 Warren Spawn. I did a buy it now on these and again picking up the low hanging fruit with these which I've pretty much don't have too many more low hanging fruit to pick from so and Whitey Ford uh, I think I'm down to needing like eight I need the two Ted Williams Willie Mays Jackie Robinson Tommy Lasorda rookie and the three big rookies. I think that's it. So, uh, next up, 1957 tops. Ray Matthews. The Steelers, near mint to mint. And we have 1960 Flair. Frank Home Run Baker. Which I need less than 20, I think, for this set. So I picked up quite a few at the Nationals. And we got Red Ruffing. And we have 1965 Philadelphia football. Rudy... Bukic, I think that's how you say that, or Buki, quarterback for the Bears, Buick, Bukic. not 100% sure on how to pronounce it, but anyways, that's Rudy, and we got Marlon McKeever for the Los Angeles Rams at that time. Near mint to mint. Then we have a 1970 hockey. Mike Lawton for the California Seals. Nice clean back. And jump forward to 1978. Steve Carlton. 
I'm not sure if I get this as an upgrade or for set number two. I'm guessing it's probably for set number two because I don't think I would have bought it this off-centered. And it was one of those nights I was really tired and I think I was just going down throwing in bids and wasn't really paying attention because I probably wouldn't have bought an off-center one. But I didn't pay that much for it, so like a buck or two. And uh, Dave Winfield. This one's slightly off center, but I think, like I said, these are for set two or set three. So, and uh, Wade Boggs for an upgrade, maybe, or another set. Anyways, I got that. Then I did some buy it nows. I'm down to needing about 20 or less for this set, the 1964 Tops Giants. Got Whitey Ford and your Mint to Mint. Love this set, but I only like to get them if they're really sharp. So, then we got the Al K-Line. And again, I'm getting down to needing uh, some of the more expensive ones on this set. The short prints and the, uh, like, Hank Aarons and Sandy Koufax, Will and Mays, Mickey, Carly Strumsky. And you got a Brooks Robinson. I knew I'd figure it out eventually here. Nice clean backs and Billy Williams. So that was a pretty good run on these. And these were all like between, I'm going to say 8 and $15 each. So pretty good price on these. So I was happy with that. <coughs> And I got some, these are 1958 through 1962 exhibit boxing guys. Henry Hank or Hank Henry. Not real sure about that. These are also blank backs. I just love these kind of cards. This is Kenny Lane. And these are all, I think, VG to X, or no, they're not X Mint, but uh, and this guy can't quite figure that out. Julio, maybe Rinaldi, we'll go with that. So, and then the only other thing I got, I grabbed couple 1975-76 near mint to mint uh, basketball Mel Count and the Denver Nuggets uh, team card so I think I need uh, about 38 more of these and then I grabbed a, a lot not so much for the 56 but they were in the lot so I already have all these um, These are all just VG. Um, got them for the uh, 1955. And I've decided I'm just going to go for, you know, VG to X Mint on these. <clears throat> I'm not going to try to build it like I did the 56 set. Uh, like I did near mint because uh, one thing, the Clemeni, I don't think I would ever be able to get one, a near mint one. Uh, the same with the Koufax. 
So I'm just going to go with uh, what I can get kind of on these lines or better. So and I think I paid a couple bucks a piece for these and that's kind of what I'm looking to do. Um, but that's it. That's all I got. The only other stuff I got coming in is a big group of hockey cards. Uh, and then a couple other things which I will share with you when I get them. So, but that's all I got for now, guys. Thanks for watching.